To extend the range of electric vehicles, researchers across the globe are engaged in a fierce competition to develop high-performance all-solid-state batteries. Although solid electrolytes can increase battery energy density, we at NIMS are working on further increasing it in another way. The key is silicon. In general, batteries traditionally use graphite as an anode. Replacing it with silicon can increase the anode's capacity more than tenfold. However, higher production costs and considerable volume expansion during operation have hindered the practical application of silicon in batteries. We recently found that volume expansion can offer a great advantage in the development of a low-cost approach to producing high-performance silicon anodes for batteries. In this video, we'll share the story of how we came up with the idea to use volume expansion in preparing silicon anodes, greatly improving their performance. When compared with conventional lithium-ion batteries, all solid-state batteries are safe and can be charged quickly. In 2014, NIMS succeeded in replacing graphite anodes with silicon for the first time in the world, greatly increasing battery capacity and paving the way to the development of high-energy density batteries. This is how silicon greatly increases capacity. When silicon particles come into contact with a solution containing lithium ions, they absorb the ions and expand. Silicon has an exceptionally large lithium storage capacity, hence its application enables greatly increased battery energy density. However, challenges still remain. We found that silicon films several micrometers in thickness perform extremely well as battery anodes. The films are deposited by sputtering in a high vacuum chamber for 30 hours. Unfortunately, this method is costly, time-consuming, and unsuitable for large-scale production. A novel approach by Dr. Narumi Ota can overcome these issues. He uses particle deposition in the air instead of vapor deposition in a vacuum. To prepare an anode composite, silicon particles are mixed with solid electrolyte particles, and the composite is placed on top of a separator. This is the same method used to prepare traditional graphite anode composites. Under magnification, we can see that the silicon and electrolyte particles form a compact anode layer. After charging, however, many cracks appear. The cracked electrode layer has high resistance and does not show high performance. What causes the cracking? The answer is expansion in the volume of the silicon. Silicon can absorb large amounts of lithium, but in doing so, it expands to more than three times its original volume. In contrast, the volume of the solid electrolyte does not expand. Thus, cracks form at the interfaces between the particles in the composite. A difference in volume change between them causes many cracks to form. Hence, Dr. Ota studied the performance of an anode layer comprised solely of an electrode-active silicon material. The anode layer has high resistance. He found resistance between neighboring silicon particles in contrast to the conductive large area of contact between silicon and a solid electrolyte. His original idea for preparing an anode composed of only silicon particles seems to have hit a snag. Nonetheless, Dr. Ota found a clue to a solution in this image. He found a transition from individual particles to a large area of contact between neighboring silicon particles. He surmised that the transition was probably induced by considerable expansion in the volume of the silicon particles during charging. He began pursuing a method of preparing thin films from silicon particles in situ by taking advantage of their volume expansion. He explored many ways in which large numbers of silicon particles can be brought into contact with their neighbors over larger areas when charging. Finally, he found a promising method, spray deposition. Silicon particles 50 nanometers in diameter are dispersed in ethanol and sprayed over a surface. This enables silicon electrodes to be prepared in the air at low cost. The electrode is placed on top of a solid electrolyte separator. 
The electrode is then observed using electron microscopy after 10 charge-discharge cycles. There is a continuous silicon film on the separator. These images clearly show the particles in close contact with one another, forming a continuous film. The capacity of the spray-deposited anode is similar to that of thin film electrodes prepared using the costly sputtering method. We developed this novel method for preparing silicon film by taking advantage of its lithium-induced volume expansion. The method lowers barriers to the application of silicon. In fact, the development of high-energy density batteries using silicon is being widely pursued. 面白い現象を見つけても、それを性能につなげられないと我々それをあの使うことができないので、前にやってたマクでの研究とかとそのリンクさせながらやっぱこうなるはずだと思ってあのそれに置き換えた時にうまくいったっていうのがま正解につながった